Hey guys, it's Ab and I. Welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you guys how to make a marble cake. So let's get started. We're going to start off by mixing the dry ingredients. So into a mixing bowl, add in one cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and mix it with the whisk. After it's all mixed together, set it off to the side. Now we're going to mix together the wet ingredients. Into a mixing bowl, add in half a cup of shortening, three fourth cup of white granulated sugar, and mix it together until it forms a crumbly mixture. After it forms a crumbly mixture, you want to add in one egg and then half an egg. Then you want to mix it all together. Now we're going to add in the dry and the milk and you want to add in a third of the dry mixture and mix it with the mixer. Then you want to add in a third of the milk and then mix it with the mix mixer and continue doing that until everything is all used. Now we're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're going to make the chocolate cake and we're going to start off by mixing all the dry ingredients together. So into a mixing bowl, add in one cup of flour, three fourth cup of white granulated sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a cup of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and mix it with the whisk. After that's all well combined, we're going to add in all the wet ingredients. Add in half a cup of shortening, one, one egg and then half an egg, half a cup of milk, and mix it with the whisk. After that's 50% all well combined, add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix it with the mixer. Now we're going to add in half a cup of hot black coffee and mix it with the whisk once again. Now it's ready to assemble. So I got a springform pan lined with parchment paper at the bottom and I spread oil on the sides. Now I'm going to take a ladle and I'm going to add in vanilla cake batter at the bottom of the pan. Then I'm going to add chocolate cake batter in the middle of the vanilla. And I'm going to continue overlapping the chocolate cake batter and the vanilla cake batter until it's all used up. Now it's ready to bake in the oven at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. I just let the cake cool down and after it's pretty much all cooled down, you want to set it in the fridge and let it cool down for another 30 minutes. Now we're going to make the buttercream frosting. So into a mixing bowl, add in one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. 1 4th cup of white granulated sugar, salt, a splash of vanilla. Now you want to mix it with the mixer until it's all foamy. Now you want to take a little bit of the foamy mixture and set it into another bowl and you want to set the smaller bowl off to the side. With the remaining heavy cream mixture we're going to add in 1 and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder and mix it together until it forms stiff peaks. After it forms stiff peaks, you want to transfer all of this buttercream frosting into another bowl and you want to set this bowl in the fridge. Now we're going to make the exact same thing with the leftover vanilla buttercream and mix it together until it forms stiff peaks. After it forms stiff peaks, you want to set it in the fridge so it can cool down and get a little more chilly. Now that the cake is all chilled, it's all ready to frost. I'm going to take an offset spatula and spread on all of the buttercream frosting on the cake. After that's all done, I'm going to take a spreader and spread it all over. And now I basically just did a crumb coat. So on top of this, I'm going to add a little thicker layer of buttercream frosting so I can cover all of the cake. After this is all done, I'm going to take a piping bag and I'm going to add in all of the vanilla buttercream frosting. I'm going to take a star tip. I'm going to just put pressure and pipe little stars on the side of the cake to add a little decoration. And that's how you make a marble cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And I will see you in my next one.